some terminology that we want to get acquainted with as we start chapter two in section one is the difference between an expression and an equation. So we have a couple examples here. Basically, an expression is a math problem that doesn't have the equal sign. So you might be able to simplify it, you might not. An equation has that equal sign. So if you look, the, the root word for equation is equal or equa. So that kind of gives you a hint. So if it doesn't have an equal sign or it can't be solved, you can't solve, then it would be an expression. So we have a couple examples here. If we look at x plus nine, can we solve that? Can we figure out what x is? No, x can be anything. But if we put an equal sign and say that x plus nine equals 12, now can we solve it? Yes, we can. We can say, well, x was equal three because only three plus nine would equal 12. So this is the difference between an expression and an equation. So this is our equation. Let's look at our next example. We have three x plus four, three times x plus four, versus three times x plus four equals 18. Well, obviously this right here is the equation because it has the equal sign and you can solve for x. Now this is something that we'll be doing a little bit of in this chapter later on, but we'll get more into this in math too. But even though we know that this is the equation, we can certainly solve that and figure out what x is. Could we do something with this? Well, yes, we can. And so we could um, expand this out using distribution, which is something else that we'll learn later on. And we could rewrite this as 3x, so 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times 4 equals 12. So we could rewrite this as 3x plus 12. Um, so expressions can be simplified. So you could have an expression, this big long thing, and there's no equal sign, but you could simplify it and get it down into just a couple things. And so, and make it a lot less complicated. So that's something that you wanna understand the difference between an expression and an equation, and know that equations can be solved, expressions can be simplified. And in math too, you're gonna see some really large rational expressions with lots of information in them, and you're gonna be able to simplify it. You can't solve them, but you'll be able to simplify it down into just a couple things. And so that'll be a really good um, example of how you can simplify expressions. But remember, we can solve equations.